Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add motion blur to images to make animations and things like that look a lot better. So inserted here, I have a five second clip of my Scrapyard Plays logo, and it's just spinning. And you can tell it's spinning in 60 frames a second, and there's no motion blur at all. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and animate this a little bit. We're going to add some motion blur to make this animation look awesome. So I'm going to open up the cropping tool and what I want to do is drag it up, drag it out a little bit and you see we actually got a fill in the background here. So let's add another green part in the back, go. And so what I want this one to do, we'll drag it out a little bit. That looks pretty good right here. All right, so I've opened it up and let's watch this animation. So it starts spinning right about here. So I want it to land right up here before it starts spinning. It's going to spin right there. By the time it finishes spinning there, I want it to drop here. And then in between the other spins, I want it to go here. And then while it's spinning, let's drag it down here. And that's how it's going to finish. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. So that's not too bad at all. It just doesn't have motion blur. So we want to make these a little bit smoother too. So let's just say, let's make this one fast, this one slow, this one fast, this one slow, and let's see what that looks like. That looks good. Okay. So we got the animation. Now we just want the motion blur. So what we do is click over here, hold Control, Shift, and press B on the keyboard. And that's going to bring up this video bus bar. Now we can right click on it and do insert remove envelope, motion blur amount, and super sampling. These two are the ones you're going to want to be using. So let's start with motion blur amount. Let's get this mid spinner. Yeah, here we go. So it's mid spin right here. If we start increasing the motion blur length, you're going to start seeing it go crazy. This being too high is definitely a problem, so what you want to do is keep it real low number. It measures the motion blur length by seconds, so I like to keep this around maybe like one. Early ones, maybe even two would be pushing it. Let's see what that looks like. So you see, it definitely added some motion blur, but it's not necessarily blurry. It just added extra frames, which is simulating motion blur. That's like the first half. So what we want to do is make that look a little better by right clicking, envelopes, super sampling. That brings up this bar down here that's orange and we're gonna drag that up and that starts fitting in and blurring and multiplying the motion blur length bar down here. So I found that this, right about four is the best option I've seen for this animation. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, we need to turn this down because when once you start adding super sampling, it definitely takes a toll on your computer's performance. So we're gonna drag that down a preview quarter just temporarily, see what that looks like. All right, so that doesn't look too bad at all. That motion blur looks like it was done good. And you can see we're midway through the move here. Yeah, so these numbers, you just gotta play with them. Whatever works for your project, different speeds require different amounts of variation for this motion blur. So these static numbers aren't gonna work for the whole thing. You just got to play around with it, and I just wanted to introduce it to you just in case you didn't know it existed. And there you have it. That's how you add motion blur to images. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.